Welcome back to the Castos YouTube channel. Today I want to talk about one of the most popular questions we get at Castos Podcast Hosting Support Desk, and that's validating and testing a podcast RSS feed. Uh, there's a bunch of videos on this channel about what a podcast RSS feed is. It is the connection, it's the information, it's the business card that goes out talking about what your podcast is, where the episodes are, all the information is neatly packaged up in this podcast RSS feed and then distributed out to the world, like iTunes, uh, Google Podcasts, Spotify, all of these places that are distribution points um, for podcasts. And a lot of podcast social media sites, which we'll have a future video on uh, fairly soon. Right inside of our Castos knowledge base, we have this article that says, how can I validate my podcast RSS feed? How can I test the health of my podcast RSS feed? And that's what we're going to do today, because sometimes when you're, you know, submitting your podcast for iTunes or Google, uh, sometimes the there's problems. It's a, it, This is life. This is humans interactions <laughs> with software. And sometimes things can be uh, awry and Sometimes the errors that they give us give back to us are just not so detailed. And these two websites right here will help us um, identify what things we can do to fix our podcast RSS feeds. We're going to look at the results of both of them. I'm going to put myself on the chopping block today and drop in my own uh, podcast to be examined. Here we are uh, right here on YouTube. First thing you want to do is grab your podcast RSS feed. So we're going to go into the settings of our podcast, and we're going to grab the RSS feed, the public podcast RSS feed. I can just click this icon, it's copied to my clipboard. If you use Seriously Simple Podcasting as a WordPress user and your feed is your WordPress website, you wanna grab that from the feed details section of your WordPress website. If you simply use Castos to host your podcast using the Castos app, you get it right here under the settings. We'll look at the Podbase website and the cast feed validator website today. So I'm gonna paste mine in here, hit start validation, and I'm gonna paste it in over here and hit go. Um, I, I will use both of them. You'll see in a moment that some have uh, detailed uh, results and, and others are just like quick little warnings and I'll show that in a second. But largely, when you run the test, as long as you don't see any red, we're fairly good. Right? We're good to go. Uh, you see the more green, the better, like like everything else. And it's just going to test things out. It's going to say, how fast is it? Um, you know, are, Is this an open standard? And you know, that's all of the things that Castos takes care of um, in your RSS feed. I've talked about this in other videos before. It's uh, We have Seriously Simple Podcasting plugin. It's great. You can host your podcast website. Uh, right in WordPress, it's your content, it's your data, it's your feed. But the challenges there are if something ever happens to your website or if it's slow responding or things are changing rapidly with the podcasting world, when you have it hosted on Castos, we take care of all of that stuff for you. So you don't have to really worry about the health of your, uh, your feed in that regard. So I'll just drill down to the first error that we see here. It's not even an error, it's a warning. And it says the cover art must be between 1,400 pixels and 3,000 pixels square to look good on fancy retina displays. Um, it's giving me a warning saying the file size is too large. It's 1,022 kilobytes, almost a megabyte. Uh, your podcast artwork must be no larger than 512 kilobytes, so half the size. Um, it's a warning. It's obviously this podcast is is healthy. It's in iTunes. It's in Google. People listen to it. I hope. Uh, so it, this is just a warning. It doesn't mean that it's not being distributed. But I should and I will go ahead and shrink down um, that podcast file size because or cover art size because we just never know. Like if they do make it a hard stop and they say no, you must absolutely get it down to half a megabyte then I have to do that or else it will no longer be included in these directories. Uh, file size probably from just loading times, right? Uh, there's so much, so many podcasts, 1.8 million something. So when you look at all that distribution size, it's a, it's a, you know, bringing that down so people can find you quickly on iTunes and other places. It makes sense. Um, everything else is tested, you know, really well. If you ever see uh, an error or a warning, generally it's going to tell you what you have to do, like in this case, bringing the file size down. 
and that's Podbase. Let's take a look at Cast Feed Validator. Things feel a little bit more critical here. <laughs> this is the one where you're like, okay, give me your, your professional opinion. Um, again, I'm getting warnings in this one, and they're just warnings. And in a moment, I'll show you an error uh, that still is approved in iTunes. So it says, warning, um, basic feed, stat, uh, feed tests found 25 episodes with an invalid length. The length should be a non-zero value specified in the enclosure tag and refers to the file length in bytes. Um, your most recent item has no link. If you have a listing for this episode on your website, this page should be using the link tag item. Um, you know, these are, again, minor things when it comes to getting your feed out there. So long as we're not seeing reds and the greens, are predominant, uh, then we're good to go, okay? Server tests, everything checks out fine on my server tests. So the cast feed validator is going to give me an, an error about my image being too large, whereas pod base gave me a bit of a warning. Uh, again, I'm still able to get my podcast out. It's giving me an error because it's saying that, look, iTunes wants it at a certain size, so this is an error, Largely debatable, but if Apple ever did put a hard stop on that, then yes, I'm in trouble, and it is a true error. But it gives you some interesting, like it scans it for you, which is cool, and it'll show you the image. Um, so I, I, you know, we're not on these websites all the time, so I mean, it's just quick test of your podcast feed. So it's nice to have those details, and it is pretty, uh, pretty detailed. Um, warning: Your title ID three tag is missing. I don't put ID three tags in my. Uh, in this particular podcast, I simply just don't do it. As I, this is a uh, a labor of love, this particular podcast, so I don't spend uh, much time there. And you can actually play the, the recent episode or show more to see um, more details about the media file. And then website test, again, it's going to say no website URL found in the most recent episode. I just don't spend a lot of time with this podcast. Uh, I record it and I send it up to Castos and I'm off and on my day. It's a, it's a podcast about my local community. So it's a very small audience. If I were really taking this stuff seriously with this particular podcast, I'd spend more time adjusting some of these things. So if you want to test, if something's going wrong with submitting to iTunes or Google or Spotify and you want to look here, or not and, you do want to look here first before you start digging into other places. It'll just quickly give you some of the errors or even before you submit to iTunes, run it through this first, right? That would be step zero for me. And then step one, go ahead and submit that. And if they're still giving you errors, well, send us a message <laughs> at Castos. Log into your Castos account and open up a little support message and ask us what we can do to help. I hope you found that useful. Subscribe to the channel if you want more stuff like this. Thumbs up if you like the video. Okay, we'll see you in the next one.